Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and the K Networks Genesis block was launched about 24 to 48 hours from the time you're watching this video, and its public mining is available. Now, I'm not going to focus on whether or not you should mine this token. I do have some excitement about some of the features, the roadmap, the main layout that they plan on doing, but there are some concerns raised by some of my colleagues. Not going to focus on that. Going to focus on mining. How can we get it up and running on your Windows machine or your Hivon or Linux-based mining operating system? That is the main focus of today's video. But on their social media feed, you can see that the mainnet rollout and what their plans are moving forward. Uh, as far as their posts, they say that the K network represents a fundamental shift in blockchain technology, offering unprecedented scalability with 50,000 plus transactions per second or TPS, which is higher than Cosmos, but lower than Solana, but while maintaining decentralization on a proof of work model, which is actually the algorithm that's using is Prog Pal. And since uh, their announcements and the Genesis block being mined, uh, you know, a number of pools have already updated and support this token, whether it's Hero Miners or Cryptex. And I think there's another one. Uh, personally, what I've been seeing is a lot of people are mining through their own node using Stratum. What, something we talked about on this channel, we showed you how to do not only with Casper, but with a number of other projects as well. So pool mining is an option. But some people are still mining through their own nodes. Uh, whichever way you choose, it's up to you. All I know is what you're going to need is this. If you're on an NVIDIA system, you're going to need Regal Miner, right? At least 1.220.1. And for an AMD system, you're going to need SRB Miner 2.7.6. I believe the team have their own miner. But because we're so familiar with these miners, it'll probably be easiest for you to just use these and then point it to wherever you want to, whether it's your local node and after you have it configured, which we're not gonna go over in today's video, or a pool. Pool setup is always the easiest, but a lot of people are still solo mining out there. So for Hero Miners, they provide everything to us, and I'm gonna link everything down in the description, including links to the releases for SRB Miner and Regal Miner. I have both of them downloaded, but once we have those miners, you just identify a pool. Again, Hero Miners, Cryptex, and I believe there's one more, I can't remember off the top of my head, and once you download, just know that in the upper right-hand corner, your browser is going to get a little bit pissy, and it's going to block it, right? Your antivirus program, whatever it might be, because they're new miners, they're unsigned. So just make sure you, um, you know, allow your antivirus to uh, add an exclusion and allow these in. But once you have those downloaded, you're going to need to extract it. I got both folders right here. So Regal Miner and SRB Miner. Something I do want to point out is in Regal Miner, there's no default for some reason uh, for this token. I thought it would be in here, but it wasn't. So I had to create one. I basically just right clicked on something that was already here and I hit edit. And then I changed everything to match what I needed it to be. If you want to know the exact flight sheet, here it is. Again, I just took over the X and A one and then I changed the algorithm to QUAI instead of Kapow. And then I put in the pool that I wanted to mine to. Again, Hero Miners has all that information in the upper right of their web page, whether you're on the home page or if you click on the start, they have everything right here. Just choose a location that's best suited for you. If you want to, you can ping it too. If you actually go to CMD and ping this uh, URL, you can see what your connection status, your latency status. Usually they have it on the website, but for some reason it's not working right now. Maybe a lot of people are connecting. And then you don't see the port here. It's usually up here in the top right, but it's down here, 1185 on hero miners and then for uh cryptex if we click start mining you can see the port number is 777 they only have a europe stratum uh so that might not be good for some of my u.s uh counterparts oh wild rig miner is also another one you can use but you can use the configurator here on cryptex to go ahead and set up however you want but you know disable cpu because you want to focus on just gpu the algorithm on srb miner is progpile dot q u a i whereas you saw from uh you know regal miner it was just q u a i and then your wallet address and then your worker name and you could put in whatever other extra commands in here to lock down your cpu core or excuse me your gpu core your mem whatever you want to do power limits set that all up to your liking uh obviously you're gonna need a wallet well what wallet do you use my wallet what i'm using here is um uh, pelagus so i'm using the pelagus one that's the browser extension that I'm using. I'll have it linked down in the description. As a matter of fact, let me pull it up on a, another machine. So here you can see I'm on Regal Miner. Uh, the 3060 is hashing away. The performance could be a little bit better. Like the 5700, or excuse me, 7900 XTX uh, obviously is not performing well because I'm currently recording on it. Uh, some of my other GPUs, I'm still playing around with testing and tuning, but there are some information that we'll look at here in just a moment. 
But if you just go to your browser and you click the little puzzle piece in the upper right hand corner, you would see that I have it installed already. But if you didn't have it installed, you could go ahead and go and uh, look it up. It's in the, what is it, the Google Chrome store? I forgot what they changed it to now. But yeah, you just want to search the term. And again, I'll have it linked down in there. But if you don't want to click any links in my uh, video description, it's fine. But yeah, Pelagus, install to Chrome. Once you do that, you're going to see it pop up. You're going to want to create a new wallet. Give it a good password, whatever you want it to be. And then it's going to warn you about making sure to back up your recovery phrase. Here it is. Here's a wallet that you can steal if you want to. You need to confirm you write it down. If you really wanted to, you can just go ahead and uh, throw it in a notepad. But I don't like storing things in notepad because you can always, uh, well, get compromised. But once you confirm that you wrote it down, uh, it's going to want you to put it in the order. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you have this backed up somewhere safe. If you are going to use notepad, just know that plain text is super easy to gain access to. Like uh, DeepSeek, where a lot of information was being stored, um, where it's easily accessible. But, you know, whatever. So anyways, the third word down, just follow it in order, is dentist. Then the fourth word down after dentist is real and you just got to fill this out you know word 8 word 9 word 13 continue to follow that process and once you have it all in there you're going to click on recover or verify recovery phrase and then finalize and now you have your wallet it's going to sit here on this screen unless you do something so do something by clicking a little puzzle piece in the upper right and clicking on pelagus and sorry if i'm mispronouncing that but you can see here we have our wallet welcome to pelagus alpha version help improve pelagus by reporting issues here and you're just going to click on receive and copy that address once you have that address copied you can go to your uh, batch file or your hive on flight sheet or whatever you got and go ahead and put that in where it says your wallet address so once you have that you're going to do file save as always do save as not save and go ahead i like to name it something different always like to name it something different and then all files is the save as type because you need to add the dot bat at the end so we say right here xsf uh q u a i test hero because that's the pool we're on dot bat and save you will see that this particular batch file will now show up in srb miner at the very bottom there it is and if we double click that we'll start mining and running right away Matter of fact, I'm going to start mine up and it's going to get a little bit choppy, but you don't see my camera, so it's all good. And you can see here we're connecting to the pool. It says the algorithm progpile.quai or they pronounce it K and it means like a ship wharf or like the platform you stand on before you get on a train. Uh, not sure if there was a different intention with the name, but there you go. A little history for you, a little uh, lesson on, on the word and the meaning. But anyways, we've got a good connection here. 50 uh, milliseconds, 55 milliseconds. This is on our Windows system for SRB Miner because we're rocking a 7900 XTX. But we need to switch on over. So for Regal Miner, just put in the pool address, your wallet address, and then whatever commands you want. File, save as, save it somewhere good. And now when you launch it, you're going to see the 3060 is running. And it's not running as efficiently as it could. We'll worry about tuning that. But that is how you at least get those two up and running for your windows system whether you're nvidia or amd moving on we got hive on and a couple others uh again don't worry about my overclocks my overclocks suck look at how low the 3080 is running at it's running at only 66 watts right so i always start low and then push my way up i just apply some whatever flight sheet or overclocks from a different flight sheet or a different algorithm and then once i get everything stable i start to push the cores up i start to push the mem up whatever it might be. Again, this is a ProgPal type token. And what's beautiful is hashrate.no already has a bunch of overclocks on here because this thing has been running in testnet. And a lot of people in the community, if you want to join their Discord, have been talking, communicating, uh, and sharing that information. Again, most of them are mining through their own node, but I'm just showing you how to pull mine. I got two different systems. So one flight sheet is different from the other. One's for NVIDIA specifically, one's for AMD. Coin, you're going to just search because it's going to be blank. Q-U-A-I. Right, then you're gonna select that wallet because the wallet's gonna be blank. Go ahead and add wallet. Remember that wallet address we just got? We wanna make sure we paste that in there and give it a name that we like so that we can identify it. Then pool, it doesn't have hero miners in here just yet, but Cryptex and K1 pool was the other one that was uh, uh, that's currently available. 
But you can go ahead and choose one of the pools that are preset. I'm sure Hero Miners will be added later on. Uh, they normally have a majority of the hash rate for most tokens anyway. So it's good to be decentralized and decentralize the hash rate. If one pool has too much, please move to another. But anyway, select the pool that you want or configure a miner and then set up miner config. You will see here, it's automatically going to choose the algorithm QUAI or K. Wallet template, I just chose wallet, right? So if this was blank, I clicked the little I or mouse over it and then click this top one right here. Password, I just put X. Worker name, again, this is going to be blank. So you just mouse over the little I and click worker name. And then you put in the pool URL. Now, yeah, you can put stratum, TCP, blah, blah, blah. But I just put in the stratum URL um, or the main pool that I'm going to connect to, colon 1185, because that's the port number for hero miners. And then at the very bottom, even though people leave it on the latest, I just go ahead and put it on the exact version I need to be on for this particular coin or algorithm or token. And then hit apply changes and give it a name that you like. For example, I could change this to NVIDIA because I know this is just for my NVIDIA rigs. On the AMD side of things, it's a little bit different. We just need to change SRB miner. Matter of fact, let's go find that right now. And you can see pretty much the same thing, right? Coin, you're going to search QUAI for K. Choose the wallet if you didn't have one already. Configure a miner, choose a pool or use configure a miner if the pool you want is not supported or if you're going to be connected to your own uh, node through Stratum. And then miner, just search SRB miner instead of having to scroll down for infinity and then set up miner config. Same thing, hashing algorithm, progpile underscore QUAI or K. Then wallet, go ahead and fill that in. Fill in the worker, put in your server, your pass, and then you can add extra config or commands if you really need to. Uh, but I do everything uh, manually anyway. So I try to use the AMD uh, tuning tool that Hivon provides to us or MMPOS or whatever uh, Linux-based mining operating system I'm trying to use. But now we're just going to choose the version. Again, I always choose the version I need to be on. Apply changes, give it a name I like, and update. Matter of fact, if we switch over and look at my AMD rig, it's not looking too good either, right? Clocks are very low. Power draw is very low. I'm not getting anywhere near what I should be getting. For example, let's go ahead and look. 6700 XT should be getting about 15 mega hash. Should be pulling about 88 watts. But if we look at mine, my 6700 XT is only doing 1.8 mega hash. yippee ki -yay. It's doing 28 watts. So we got to play around with some settings. we got to adjust some clocks here. You can see the core clock is uh, 1250. Uh, mem clock 1050. Undervolt, so on and so forth. So I got some adjustments to do. Uh, but my other NVIDIA rig is doing a lot better, actually. Uh, doing about 230 mega hash, I want to say. Sorry about that. Little technical difficulties. Uh, one of my 1660 Ti's was not playing nice. So I'm really dialing in one machine. I uh, really need to dial in my overclocks to my other two machines. Like my AMD rig, for example, the 6700 XT, the reason it's running was running so low is because the memory was literally one. Okay, like one, like one period. So look at that. It jumped up from one mega hash to 14 mega hash. Because if you notice here on the right hand side, I applied a very low overclock to all of these. So if I take out the number one and go ahead and dial in the MVDD or the, uh, what is it, the VDD uh, CI, then we should be a lot better and get better hash rate. So I wouldn't exactly copy my overclocks, but this rig is, is doing a lot better. Uh, you know, the 3060 Ti, matter of fact, let's go look at that on the bench. So this is a 3060. This is this rig right here. Uh, I'm doing 110 and then the hash rate's 19.78 mega hash. And hash rate dot no is calling for 132 watts, but I should be getting 23.26 mega hash. So I'm, I'm, I'm less than what hash rate dot no, but I'm not trying to draw that much juice let's go look at a 3060 ti on the benchmark and you don't have to do exactly what hash rate dot no shows but just do what's best for your configuration your power and especially your cost of everything but the 3060 ti is calling for 1470 lock clock 2000 on the mem for a linux 1000 for windows power limit set to 200 we should be doing 168 watts but 29.6 uh, mega hash so 29.6 mega hash 168 watts and I'm doing 28 at 170. So I'm kind of on par with hash rate dot no. But again, you don't need to do it. If you want to bring the power down a little bit more, go for it. A2000 sitting at 17.9, almost 18 mega hash at 80 watts. 
1660 Ti, 13.2 at 90. So I'm going to do some more fine tuning and adjustment, especially for my other rigs, because these AMD rigs are, are hurting right now with the MEM set like that. And we can go and look at some of the other options like the 5700 XT, which is one of my favorite cards, and see what they should be running. So 14.8 mega hash at 108 watts. But you can see that they're adjusting the core clock. The MEM is being locked. The, there's an undervolt on the core. There's an undervolt or a locked uh, voltage for the MVDD. And then the MVDDCI is 775. So a lot of tuning and playing around. But you know that's what we love here on this channel. So I'm going to keep going, but that is how you mine on both a Windows system. Again, if you're running NVIDIA, Regal Miner is your friend. Wild Rig Miner is pretty cool too, uh, but I use Wild Rig for other specialty coins. I might use it on my AMD GPUs, but Wild, Wild Rig or SRB for AMD, even though it can uh, be used in a number of different areas, I would just go SRB AMD, Regal for NVIDIA whether you're on Windows or a Linux-based mining operating system, and just have some fun uh, learning something, playing around with this new coin or this new token, which is not listed on any exchanges. The team has plenty of work to do ahead of them. They do have a roadmap. There are some concerns raised by my colleagues, but you look into it and you see if this is something you want to mine. And let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the description for links to everything if you are uh looking for additional hardware or anything like that that will also be down there but do me a favor on the way out hit that like button get subscribed hit notification bell to stay up to date so let's check out additional links in the description that'll support the channel and what we do here and you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one